my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. You have to have a loop of battle. It's so much fun. Um, there's one thing, a little principle that I ran into uh, along the way, and it is the principle of limitation. That often we, we, we think limitation is a bad thing, right? We want to have as many options at, every, at any given point as possible. But that really <laughs> is not always the, the, the best answer. I, I uh, remember I was all into Paul Gilbert, you know, the first video I saw with him, the uh, Give me an L! Give me an I! It's on YouTube here, so you can watch the first instructional video with Paul Gilbert. just changed everything uh, for me. And so I was all into his gear, like we are, right? We, we look up to people, and we just want to do everything just like them. And so I looked into, what is he using? And he, he was using this rack, this effects rack, with, with little... Uh, little uh, lamps in it and all, all kinds of knobs and then a, a power amp. He had a preamp, programmable preamp, and then a power amp and then some huge um, uh, loudspeakers, some stacks there. Um, cabinets, don't know what you call them. Uh, and I, I bought the same thing. And I just had so many, you know, I could program this preamp with all kinds of distortion and it has effects in it as well. And I had this board where I could just, you know, and it, there was just too many options. Uh, for me to focus on, so I just I came up with something that sounded good, I guess, but I didn't know what to, you know, and so I was uh, we were practicing in a, in a in a room where there was another band practicing as well, and one day the other band was there, and the guitarist took his freaking, you know, he had three boss pedals and just a huge Marshall stack, and he put he plucked his guitar in that's good, and then just went, bam, and it just sounded wow, that's the sound I want, right? And it was the sound of simplicity. Just those stacks and a couple of pedals that just could go like, rah, oh, rah, that's it, right? And, and I, I, in one, in, at one, just one second, it taught me that I want simplicity. I want something that I can actually manage. First of all, when it comes to sound, I needed to find an amp with an inbuilt distortion that I really, really liked. So that just the mere foundation would be something that I really liked the sound of. So I was just looking for that and I found it. And then I just added a couple of effects on top of that. And then, you know, I loved it from there. I just loved that responsiveness, everything. So I, I threw away the other complex solution. But if you're more sophisticated, you know more, you love to program the thing, you love all that complexity, and you really master it, then of course that's for you, because then you have all the little tools to tweak your sound, right? But it wasn't for me in that area. Uh, another example is, you know, I bought, bought, I had a sequencer program like Cubase, and you could do all kinds of stuff on the computer. You could, you know, envelope filters and different, you know, there were so many settings. So when I was creating music within that program, I was always like, maybe I should change the, the EQ on this track or go, you know, maybe the, the, does the snare drum really, you know, and I was just derailed basically in the creative process because there were so many things, so many knobs I could turn and twitch. Today, I use GarageBand on an iPad because it allows me to do almost nothing. You know, I have three kinds of drum sets, that's it, right? So I have limitation, that's the point. And the limitation allows me to be creative. Limitation in the case of, you know, my gear, my setup, allows me to not focus on the settings and the tweaking and the, and I don't want that. Other people do, right? But that's not what I was about right there. And so it allowed me f the freedom to just focus on what's most important to me. And the same thing with the, with the garage, when people say, are you using GarageBand, you know, on the level you're on, just seriously? But it really allows me to say, but I can't do anything in it, but just produce basic arrangements, right? And it's fast and it's efficient, right? It goes wham, and I have an arrangement because I just use tools, yeah. That is simple tools. And the same thing goes for soloing. Like, you know, I had this ambition. I wanted to learn all the scale shapes across the fretboard. I wanted to have every single arpeggio tool, every single, you know, 
theoretical concept at my fingertips at any single time to, and that's a cr great ambition to have. But I quickly learned, not quickly, but it took me some time, that the more limited I was, you know, I just focused on a few tools in, an, in a secluded area on the fretboard, and then I was moving around through what I call power paths, which you can also find in my other videos here, and just moving through some simple tools laid out in, in advance, then I, that would ab absolutely set me free, you know. Uh, I, 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 for instance, I could, you know, play and if that was an A minor in the background there, let me just get a little louder on that. Then, if I had some simple tools like the, the, the minor pentatonic, on just a couple of strings, right? And then something a more advanced tool like C, the C major, seventh arpeggio. And I had just, you know, I had just that laid out in just a little bit, you know, just a couple of strings, like, and I had that, then that would make me so much more creative because I didn't have to think about going all kinds of places and, you know, uh, so, so limitation, I limited myself purposefully in order to free myself to be creative. I hope that makes sense, right? And on all these three examples, I, I'm still doing that across the board. <laughs> Right? So uh, I hope you get my point here. Uh, and perhaps you're already doing this, right? Maybe it was me who was just slow in my development to just get this. But if you are as slow as me <laughs> in some areas, you might find this helpful as well. So you might look at where are you, you know, where is complexity really bogging you down and impairing your ability to produce, compose, play solos, uh, find the right sound on your instrument, and where do you need to cut back on some of all the options we have these days? Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.